the coach. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the Chicago Bears and the Detroit Lions. With that, let's head inside the Ford Field in Detroit. We're standing by are the two men who will bring you this one, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Well, Coach, the seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Ford Field tunnels, and the noise level in this place just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Lions get ready to do battle with the Chicago Bears. Brandon Garden, Charles Davis, happy to be with you. And Charles, we've got two teams who know each other extremely well. These division games, they tend to be battles. People scout like crazy in this league, but no one scouts more than within the division. Because if you win your division, you're automatically in the playoffs. That puts extra emphasis on these games, and they can't wait to get at each other. Here's the former Florida Gator, Eddie Pinheiro, to get us started. And we are underway from Ford Field. This will be fielded at the 6. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by a former Pro Bowl quarterback out of the University of Georgia, Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford is a big arm guy who's learned how to temper some of his throws. Actually has added a lot more touch and accuracy as his career has gone along. Big time confidence in his arm though. Any throw you want, he can make it. On first down, it's Stafford. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. A first carry for the converted wideout, J.D. McKissick. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle. And oftentimes, we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So on fourth down, they bring on the Michigan man, Matt Weil, to kick it away. <laughs> 51 yards on the punt there, and the Bears take over. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. As we get a peek at the former number two overall pick, Mitchell Trubisky. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 24. 
From the gun, it's Trubisky. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. And this offense often hinges on one of the best tight ends in the league, and that's Jimmy Graham. I think he made up for lost time when he got to the NFL because in college, he was mainly a basketball player, a defender who couldn't score. Now he's flipped it around in the NFL. Every time he touches the ball, he's a threat to score. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Check. Check out. And down he goes. Danny Shelton muscles his way in for the sack. All right, partner, I'm going to be Captain Obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathe a sigh of relief on that sideline. After that sack we just saw, Trubisky and the Bears deal with a third and long. They snap it at one. Now it's Trubisky. He may try and run for this. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. A big kick, 50 yards that time, with a return of four, and the Lions will take over. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, Stafford. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Akeem Hicks at 6'5", 332, finds his way home for the sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. The following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. A carry now for McKissick. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Looking downfield for Jones. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Detroit. Marvin Jones, 67 yards as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Charles, there aren't really any slow receivers, but there's fast and then really fast. He's really fast, and he showed off the afterburners there. And that he is because when he took off, I was thinking there's no chance that he can actually reach him with that pass. Yet he did, and he's still sprinting. And just think about what that does for everyone else on his team because his ability to stretch a field opens things up for the rest of the receivers on the team. 
Now Matt Prater for the point after. It's up, it's good, and the Lions lead 7-0. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out, a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive? Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. And the starting crew defensively for Detroit. You have to love Jamie Collins. You can use him just about anywhere on the defense. Inside linebacker, outside linebacker, defensive end. He might even play a little bit of safety if you give him the chance. <laughs> Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Quick pass out to Miller. That catch good for five. It's third down. They'll try to run for it with Cohen. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. He needed a yard. That's what he got. And it's going to earn him a new set of downs. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Let's go, Out of the gun, Trubisky. The connection made, it's Graham. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. I like how they worked the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not only going to catch the football, he's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. First down, a run with Cohen. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second down, Trubisky, and he finds his tight end, Graham. 
Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. From the shotgun is Trubisky, and Graham's got it, complete. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted. Spotted at the 14-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Stafford. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Screenplay, Johnson. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Well, you can see what they wanted to do. They wanted to set up the screen there, but it got blown up. It's hard to run that play if you're not getting a lot of pressure at the quarterback because the space doesn't open up. They were able to read that one and slow it down and stop it before they could get a first down. Here's Matt Wild now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. A well hit ball there, 50 yards on the punt, three on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll start with a give to Cohen. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. Throwing on second down. Trubisky eluding the pressure right. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. 
Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. one tackle but then quickly brought down the veteran Jamie Collins there on the tackle offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage they almost feel like he's one of them and they really embrace him they'll run on second down with Cohen and he's dropped right at the 40 gain of three well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. The Bears on third down, just one for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Fans, a reminder, I have a note card here that says ad-lib halftime preview. So I guess let's do just that as we'll hand things over to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando when this one reaches halftime. Did I do okay? You did great. Not a bad job. Hey. But, you know, writing down your ad -libs. If you print it, I'm going to read it. I'm Brandon Gauden. 14 yards into Chicago first down. Containing him is becoming a bit. They've got a first and 10 at the 15. Trubisky will throw, and an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. Stepping up, he'll try and run. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Graham slotted out to the left. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Here's Trubisky to throw. He'll buy some time right. And now he's going to use his legs. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. They come out here in the eye. On second down, Montgomery. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. David Montgomery taking it in as they are now on the board here in the first half. And a little time left on the clock. So on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Wow, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. A 10-play drive that time, and it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off.
seven now as they kick it away. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And we're under a minute to go here. What's been an even first half all tied up? Yeah, still time to make something happen, too. A couple completions, you string them together. Could get in the field goal range. Let's see what happens. the 35. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, here's Stafford. He completes it to Jones. They'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, Stafford. And he finds Danny Amendola. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. screen it's complete and he gets us down inside the 35 before going out of bounds They'll come out in a four-receiver look. Three men to the right side on second and six. Throwing again at Stafford. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time. But now it'll be third down. Third down and six yards to go. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Again, it's Stafford. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And a broken tackle helps lead to a first down game. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash mark, this a 43-yard attempt. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and that will do it for this first half. So we've hit halftime, just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, let's get you right back out to Brandon Godden. 
Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Now a hit and a loose football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And into the end zone, a scoop and score on the fumble return for the Detroit touchdown. So problems here on special teams, and it results in the scoop and the score. They talk all the time on special teams about keeping your head on a swivel, trying to see the whole field. Hard to do when things are going that fast, bodies all over the place. You're just trying to find the right guy to align yourself with. On that play, wow. Prater on to add the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This will be taken in at the one. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Mitchell Trubisky and the Bears set to begin their next drive. His feet, what he's been able to do individually running the ball, it's kind of kept him in this game. No doubt about it because if he's not making the plays that we've seen, they are really getting blown out in this one. I don't think they have any chance at all. He's keeping them in striking distance, hoping to get some help from the defensive side of the ball so that maybe some of these plays can turn into plays that maybe put them in the lead. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do that. I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And we've got movement. I think this is against the Bears here. Let's find out. And maybe they were coming with a blitz that time, and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. They try again with Cohen. 
And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. On first down, it's Cohen. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down now, it's Cohen. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Trubisky gives to Cohen. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. On second and 12, Trubisky steps away. He'll run it. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On third down, a run with Cohen. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they're back with it a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. Kick it away is Pinheiro. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. 
They'll try to get the offense going with Johnson. He takes this for three to the 29. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Just beating the play clock. Stafford is complete to Jones. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. That catch good for five. It's third down. Brings up third and two. Ready. Get up, 20. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here's Matt Weil now, as he's on to punt for Detroit. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I've never met it up. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. They couldn't contain Deshaun Hand that time as he gets home for the sack. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now Trubisky, and the hook up here to Allen Robinson. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. The Bears on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and eight, and we've got movement. I think this is against the Bears here. Let's find out. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking now. in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Here's Trubisky. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. And he's going to be taken down about a yard shy of the first at the 29. They do get 12, but they'll be marked short. And that leads to a fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Now stopped him in his tracks. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he's on to punt for Chicago. Yeah. 
We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Hey, Stafford and the me. Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. <laughs> Operating from the gun. Stafford looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. Give him two yards on that play, and that'll make this a second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he'll push forward for about four up to the 23. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. The Lions on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and four. From the gun, Stafford. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Here's Matt Wild now. He's been terrific so far. Fielded just inside the 20. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Throwing here, Trubisky. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. How about that one? The so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Now it's Trubisky. Over the middle, he gets it to Patterson. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. I think it all came together there. In breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And Graham's got it over the middle. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught and you don't give up much run after the catch. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Now Trubisky to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Cordero Patterson, the one he was hoping to get it to. Third down here. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback, 
But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. The battle in the trench is never more important than right now. This is third and inches. Powers through. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short definitely was a great time to dial one up. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Now it's Trubisky. He finds Robinson. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. Draw play here, Trubisky gives to Cohen. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. They get the first. The decision to run on third and medium winds up being a good one. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Here's Trubisky. He's going to take off with it. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. So a decent game, Still but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Throwing now is Trubisky. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. They'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Jamie Collins in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now it's Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Trubisky to throw. Oh, no, he lost the football. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. 
Back to throw. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. Back to throw. And this ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. Yes, sir, that touchdown puts him in striking distance. And let me tell you something, forget being conservative here. Go for it. Go for two. Well, going for it on the road. Want to win it right now? Want to win it right now? Have the momentum? Go ahead and get it done. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And we may very well be headed to overtime. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. This is taken at the three. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. A tie game. You don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. Now it's Stafford. He's going to float this over the middle deep. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Kyle Fuller. And what an effort on the final play of regulation. All zeros on the clock, and we are headed to OT. Boy, Charles, what a critical call in a tie game late. You want to have the tight coverage? You don't want to cause the penalty pass interference in this case. Remember, it's a yardage foul in the NFL, a spot foul where it occurs. And it is good! He splits the uprights on the chip shot, and the Lions are going to win this game. A little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did.